All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you how to do a muscle up today. I got this sick mic that I got attached to my shirt. Just bought it. So I'm going to run through all the steps that you need uh, to get a muscle up. So the first thing that you're going to want to learn is how to do a pull up. Because without a pull up, if you can't get yourself over the, at least up to the bar uh, before trying to do a muscle up, you're not going to get anywhere. So first requirement is going to be 10 pull ups. And uh, preferably you're going to want to do high pull ups because lower pull ups, it'll just make it a lot harder for you to get over the bar. So I'll show you what a high pull up looks like. So you'll grab the bar and bring yourself over. All right, so you need that first. That's the first thing that you need. And uh, in order to get there, uh, it might take you maybe a month, two months. Uh, but at first, when I first started, I can only do three pull ups. So I'll show you what I could do before. So when I first started, I could only get about right here. That was about all I could get, three. So what I would do with that is I would just come at least three times a week uh, and try to up that up to 10 pull ups. Uh, just doing it up to the neck neckline. And then from there to get the higher pull ups, I use Australian pull ups. So I'll go ahead and move over to Australian pull ups now where we'll get to see how you can get from pull ups from your neck to pull ups to your chest to pull ups to your stomach. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you that now. All right, cool. So this is the next part. Uh, this is the Australian pull-ups. Uh, these are one of my favorite things to do. Uh, you'll probably want to try to get at least three sets of 10 of these every time you come out, at least three times a week. If you can do two, that's fine as well, but I, I prefer you try to at least get three, uh, three times a week. Uh, and then what, what did I say? Three sets of 10. So this is the Australian pull-up. So you kind of lean yourself underneath a bar and then you pull yourself up to the bar and every time you want to get your chest to the bar and you want to keep your chest up at all times and keep your hands about shoulder width apart you're just going to go down about halfway and then back up and you'll do that over and over sometimes you can slip so you might want to just brush the area where your foot is at for those people that come out to the calisthenics park in Cayman Islands check this out just do that every time and then you're gonna want to just go back under hit the chest every single time and yeah that's about it just keep doing those uh, until your arms are you know you start to feel your arms get tight in this area here you should also feel it in your back as well a little bit in your chest but not too much in the chest mainly just the back and arms is what you're gonna target here and what this helps with is getting used to having your neck slash chest area hitting the bar so when you go back to do pull-ups maybe in the next week or two after doing a lot of these you'll start to see that you can get higher up the bar um, and then the more you do these the stronger you get and then before you know it you'll see yourself doing those high pull-ups um, that's really all you need to get the high pull-up in my opinion um, anything else is probably just a lot of energy wasted um, yeah so that's that's the high pull-up all right Next thing you're going to want to learn is uh, getting used to getting over the bar. So for the beginners, you can try to get a lower bar. For the more advanced and stronger guys, you can go to a little bit of higher bar. But I, I usually started here. When I first started, I can only do this one. I really couldn't get up to this one. Uh, this one's just a bit higher than my how tall I am, just so you can be aware of that. Uh, so we'll, go, we'll start with this one. What you're going to do is you're just going to grab onto the bar. You don't have no run up anything. And then you're going to jump and pull yourself over the bar at the same time and try to throw your, your stomach over the bar um, just so the bar kind of lands right here on your hip and then you can jump right back down. So just practice jumping up, jumping back down. And then when you get more comfortable, you can move over. I hope you guys can see this. If not, I'll do another one for you. Get to the higher bar, jumping up here. I'm gonna try it on this side, maybe it looks better. All right? Drop your butt down. And you just wanna keep practicing that until you get stronger and stronger. Uh, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, you're gonna to wanna to learn the dips as well, right? Because part of the muscle up is once you're above the bar, you then gotta push yourself up to finish the muscle up, right? So you can also go back to a low bar 
Just jump on the low bar and then keep your legs straight. Just go straight down to your chest, back up. Straight down to your chest, back up. And this one, probably gonna keep it at around three sets of 10. I tend to use that for most of these workouts that you're seeing now. So that's probably a good start for you. It's three sets of 10. Maybe not the jumping on the bar one in terms of getting up there because you might be a, a little bit tired after a while. So just do your best. Thank you. All right, cool. So now that you've got in your high pull-ups down pat, you've got in your Australian pull-ups, and then you've got your dips and your jump on bars. Now it's time to try to put it all together and get your muscle up, right? And I would say don't rush into this. Make sure that you're strong in those three to four exercises I just showed you before attempting. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna learn is the swing, right? Because a lot of times when I first tried to learn this, I wasn't swinging past the bar. So I'd be trying to get over the bar without any sort of swing to help me. So the first thing you wanna practice is your swing. Uh, side tip, when you're uh, holding onto the bar, always try to get, always try to get the bar to be hanging right here versus here because if you're here, you'll get less cuts in your hands and be able to go for longer, right? Uh, so I'll go back. Um, so you grab the bar and you're just gonna swing on it, right? So you're just practicing the swing, jumping off. So you practice the swing, jumping off. A good tip that I also got was uh, in terms of the, your distance away from the bar, take one step away from the bar before you jump, and then that could be your starting point every time. So now that you have that one step, you just jump at the bar and swing. So now that you got your swing down pat, the next thing is uh, the magic button. I'll steal this one from Chris Harry. He's dope. Uh, he's the one that kind of helped me to learn this. Uh, but basically what it is, is you're going to imagine, take a step forward in front of the bar. There's a point in front of the bar that we like to call the magic button. Uh, for right now, I don't have anything to put there, but you can practice putting maybe a shoe here or, or anything that can be used as the magic button. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to swing and then thrust your toes down to try and touch that magic button. It's kind of what I like to call the slingshot effect because you're loading up yourself for that muscle up, right? So you're going to swing and then touch that magic button, right? So that's kind of the load up. Once you've kind of gotten that down pack, then you can start to add the next step, which is that kip motion, which gets you up and over the bar, right? Uh, side tip on this one, uh, don't do your kip too early. A lot of people, they, they'll try to kip when they're right here, and then they'll not be able to get up. So what you want to do is, you're going to do the magic button, swing back out, and right as you get past, right as you're about to pass the bar, coming back this way, is when you want to kip yourself up. Uh, you can use both knees for this. So, it's a swing, then a kip, right? It looks a little easy now, but it'll take you some time to learn it. So you want to learn that kip. Once you get uh, some, another side for that is, when you're holding onto the bar, you can work on your knee ups, right? Just to get your abs and core stronger. So that'll help you with your kip as well, right? It's another workout you can add. I would say try to do 10 sets, maybe three sets of 10 on that. Uh, but yeah, so back to back to the the kip up, right? So you got your swing. Hey, buddy. So you got your swing. You got your magic button, and you got your kip up, right? So swing, magic button, kip up. And when you get to that point where you're kipping up. You also want to add in that high pull up, right? So that's why I kind of said that it helps to have the high pull up because without it, you'll probably kip up and then you'll hit your chest on the bar because you can't get over it. So yeah, I'll just show you a couple muscle ups just so you can see how it looks. And yeah, fellas, that's it. And ladies, ladies and gentlemen, that's your muscle up. All right, I uh, hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Uh, yeah, have a good one.